Video Productions. What's going on YouTube? So today I got another knife review for y'all. This is the Silver Stag. Uh, I believe it is called the Drop Nose, which is an eight and a half inch blade. Our eight and a half inch total length. I think the blade is 3.75 inches. This is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is made in USA in uh, I think Blaine, Washington. I got this at a retail store. It's another scout carry knife because uh, that's pretty much all I really carry now. I've said in other videos why I pretty much only carry scout carry knives. Um, well, for the most part, I do carry a pocket knife every now and then, but I, if I do, I usually have a scout carry knife on me. Um, this is a, um, a 1095, let's see, what do they call it? 1095 steel, 1095 high carbon tool steel, which is supposedly uh, stronger than stainless steel. So, I've only had this knife for about a month. Man, that, that light will not let it focus. There we go. Now this knife here is made with a elk handle. I'm sorry y'all, this glare from this light is not allowing it to focus for some reason. Yeah, so this is an elk handle right here. Um, now one thing I don't like about this is because it, it has this leather sheath. And I do like, I mean leather sheaths are cool. But you can see right here where it's got uh, a little bit of the threads came out. And that's me for me just basically putting it in the sheath and it going all the way through. Now, I don't really put this in too hard. I put it in just so it's snug. So that's more of a testament of how sharp the actual blade is that it just tore through that. I didn't stab myself or anything, but um, it is an issue. And then that's pretty much, like right here, I mean, that's, that's snug, right? But I mean, it does have a little bit of a retention issue because, you know, it's not kydex or anything. It doesn't really clip into place. Uh, I don't really like that too much. Usually if you wear it Scott Curry, you know, behind your back. I have never had an issue with it falling. I've had this for about a month. I've never had an issue with it falling out. I've only had an issue with it falling out whenever I was like, if I left it on my belt and I you know, had already taken my pants off and like, you know, put it down on a chair or something and the knife fell out there because it was facing downward. So that, that is an issue, um, you know, it is more of a western looking type knife and you know, with that there are some flaws with that I guess you could say. Um, another thing is this sheath, I mean it's kind of designed for scout carry but it only has like this one, you know, belt loop. And you know, when you have one belt loop like that, you typically, the belt loops on your pants are typically, you know, spaced out you know so far so there's a lot of room where it'll move back and forth on your belt which is usually annoying I prefer you know like two straps would be ideal it's not been a big issue with me it's you know it's a small issue but it you know I'm just letting y'all know how it is in terms of how sharp it is I mean you know you can just look at that and like I said I don't really press it in harder than it needs to go um, it, it's pretty sharp for what I've used it for. I mean, I've only had it a month, so, you know, time will tell. From what I've also seen is that these have uh, coloration issues. Uh, I guess over time, any bit of water will basically cause it to rust or corrode. So what, uh, you need to keep it oiled at all times, but lightly oiled. And uh, I guess just, you know, kind of take take better care of it, you know. it's it's a little bit more uh, high maintenance than a lot of other knives are. Uh, overall, I mean, I really like the knife. I have been wearing it every day. Uh, my Cut 4.0, I actually lost one of the straps for it. I didn't lose it, it actually pressed through one of those little metal uh, pieces that go through it, pressed through, and I lost it, so but I'm down one strap, so I've been using this every day. And it works really well, you know, it's, it's built for extreme use, so they say, so I mean, you know, it does work, it does work well, uh, so, anyways, uh, that, that's pretty much all I got to say about it, I mean, it's, it's sturdy knife, strong steel, the sheath could be improved, but, you know, overall it is what it is, and it works the way it's designed to work, so, uh, it's made in America, 100% U.S. made, so, it, you know, it is quality materials there, uh, I think it retails for like $136, I'm not really sure how much I got it for. Um, I know I got it 
cheaper than that, but I don't remember what I got it for. So, um, yeah, just check out these guys' website if you want to look at their stuff. Most of their stuff is, like, D2 steel, and it's all, like, deer or elk or, you know, some other various animal with horns um, type handles and stuff. So it's all pretty cool stuff, but it's all similar. They have some fold-out knives, some uh, scout carry knives, some other knives that can go around your belt uh, kind of vertically. Um, yeah, you can check out all their stuff on their website. Uh, all this is available there. Uh, Silver Stag. I'm not sure what the website is. You know, just Google Silver Stag and it'll pop up. So anyway, guys, that's it. <clears throat> that is my current EDC knife that I've been wearing. And until next time...